Hi everyone, today I'm going to be using some more new makeup, kind of a get ready with me, chit chat, new makeup, all that good stuff. It's just makeup I've bought that I haven't used yet, I believe, or at least not on camera. Some of it I used yesterday on camera, but the video got interrupted and it was entirely too long, so I'm going to try to hurry up this little thing. So, the first thing I'm going to use is a primerizer because I'm going to be using the... Um, stick foundation for the first time and this kind of keeps your face moisturized well not the first time the second time i'm gonna let that soak for a minute kind of put it in i used the primerizer yesterday and the foundation yesterday in the video but since it got interrupted it made it entirely too long and i didn't want to deal with the editing it down so, we're going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick and Soft Beige because I figured if I don't like it, it's better to spend $6 than the prices of some of those other ones. So, we're just going to put a couple little spots on here. And it didn't look cakey yesterday. I was surprised because it looks cakey like right now when I'm putting it on. We're just going to put a couple down the neck. And it lasted all day, and I loved my makeup yesterday, believe it or not. We're just going to spread it around, and I pull it down onto my eyes like usual. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. I have to take my mom and my little sister to the specialist because they believe she is Sheldon. That, or got some sort of autism, but um, high on the spectrum, not like Eric. Um, a lot, she's adopted. A lot of things happen during her mom's pregnancy. Her mom was dating my uncle, so technically she's still family. But she's always going to be my little princess, my little sister. Um, but a lot of things happen during the pregnancy, which is why my mom has her and adopted her. She's had her since she was born. All right, see what I mean? It's very nice coverage. It doesn't look cakey. I'm going to kind of get closer to the camera so you can see. It smooths out really well. All right, next, we're going to use this concealer mostly because I don't, I'm going to use this as a contour, but I don't like the, I'll show you. Okay. Okay. Brighten that up in there. Uh, wish I had more redness. That's so kind of neat that it's gone. Alright. We're going to buff this into the skin using the same brush we used for the foundation. Or maybe I'll grab a different one because that Is starting to look cakey a little bit. I don't know. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Actually, that worked out. I don't know why this side's looking different. Let's go ahead and use this. Um, all right we're gonna take this sponge and some revlon candid powder and i like these little sets because look okay hold on let me find it there it is lift here and it has these little things so it keeps your powder from picking up those holes we're gonna take some of this powder we're gonna set the under eye I have some creases there, but I'm not trying to look perfect. But if you want to keep from having creases, a good thing to do is like try to smooth it out. 
really well and um when you put the powder on it, make sure you don't have any creases, but I didn't notice the creases before I put the powder, so. I'm gonna put some right there so I can mark the bones I wanna mess with. Okay, we're just putting a little bit on. All right, now we're gonna take this Wet n Wild contour stick. See the highlight, the, I mean, the um, concealer part? I didn't wanna use that. Okay, we're gonna take this. We're gonna put it across here. a little bit here this is in the shade medium tan put a little there a little there a little on the nose across there kind of build that up right there all right, and now we're going to take this sponge right here. We're going to dampen it with this. And we're just going to gently bounce backwards. Make sure you pick it up so you don't drag your makeup foundation. We're going to just drag it across. Sometimes it is so much easier on your nose to use your finger. <clears throat> All right, and under here, I always try to make sure that there isn't a harsh line because Jason has noticed sometimes that there's a line. And he's not here. <sighs> So to kind of blend it in to finish blending it in we're just gonna take some of this foundation and concealer and lighten up any line that may have formed so there's a little bit of the contour do y'all ever notice this side always looks better contoured than this side or is it just me Let's go across with a little bitty dots and see what we can do. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. I think it's the way also that the shadow on the lights kind of do, if you know what I mean. All right, now we're gonna take this cheek maker. I don't wanna take the highlighting part trying to take just the blush part we're going to use this brush this is the revlon cheek maker in sugar plum and mauve bourbon we got a little bit on the brush we're just gonna bounce it onto the cheeks i'm trying to stay with the cream products right now before i put powder down All right, um, the reason I'm not using the highlight part is because I'm gonna use this Fenty Beauty matchstick thing that I got a while back in a glow kit from uh, Sephora. Looks like this, it's in the color Starstruck. We're just gonna put that down. Uh, on the spots we want highlighted. We're just going to buff it into the skin. I don't know who the dog's barking at. I had at. to go answer the door, so I'll piece these together. All right. I blended out the blush. We got the highlight. Now we're going to take that same Revlon Candid Powder. It's anti-pollution, but we're going to take this blush, brush. 
we're going to tap some of the excess off and we're just going to start pouncing that onto all the liquid areas including the eyes and just kind of pounce it into the skin like so and down the neck I'm trying to figure out how when I was sick, I did that, um, I did this really bronzy glow look that I messed up with eyeshadow that we're gonna discuss some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes that I bought recently and some of my non-favorite ones and the reason why in a video because we just need to discuss some of these. Um, any other video suggestions, always leave them down below. Um, now we're gonna take the butter bronzer right here uh yesterday i tried to use this one and it you couldn't see it at all so we're just going to pounce this bronzer brush into it and pounce it across where we put the cream bronzers or contours and this is in just bronze so it's like just a neutral color but you could actually see this bronzer which I like and I love the smell it smell don't bother me either which is always nice um, okay we got that going all right then we're gonna take okay we're gonna take the nars blush and we're gonna use this urban lights one right here with the nars blush the orgasm one the little one we're gonna kind of mix them together because they're sort of the same color but one's more shiny and it's a just a light color we're just gonna mix it together Take a little bit of that one and a little bit of this. Make sure you get it on your cheeks like so. All right, now I wanna take that powder brush again, kinda of diffuse it, cause I'm not a big blush girl. I like it to be more of a natural flush. Like, see, that's more natural. All right. Then we're gonna take this Physician's Formula purple one that we haven't used yet. We're just gonna kinda add it to different spots. I need to trim my eyebrows, as you can see. Don't pluck them if you're trying to build them. If you're trying to build them up, don't pluck them. Okay, we're gonna take this. Actually, no, we're gonna take, oh, I need another one already. Okay, we're gonna take the e.l.f. to kind of mesh all that together. And pounce it with a sponge. to keep it in the skin really well. Uh, uh, we want it to look nice all day long. Cause after I take my mom to the doctor, I may take Eric to the P-A-R-K. Um, so he could get some of this energy out. Even though he didn't feel good yesterday, he seems to be feeling just great today. Using the brush to brush my brows. Part of me wants to use this new um, NYX stuff I have, but I don't want to use it on camera because I want to know how to use it first. 
Um, we're just not going to cover that. Okay, some of this stuff needs to get out of my way. Okay, we're going to use three different eyeshadow type things, possibly. Um, still good on time, I believe. Yeah, I got to leave here about 11.45 or so. Let's go pick them up. All right, I'm putting some of this up. I'm trying to do good. I'm trying not to make this last forever. All right. But some of the stuff is still open and it's just laying around. And I don't want it to mess up any of it. I didn't use this at all. This can go here. This stays here. This goes here. All right. So the two, maybe three palettes we're going to use. I just got this one. I've always wanted it. And I found it on Amazon for $8. Yes. I have the lemonade one and I wanted the soda pop one so bad. The other one. It's going to be the Smashbox Ultraviolet palette. And then we're probably going to use this. I don't know. We'll see how we do. I don't want to waste a whole bunch of time. That is the Wet n Wild. Because um, I still got to get Eric dressed too. So we're going to take this brush. I don't know where the other ones went. Oh, there it is. Okay, and we're going to go into... Um, you know what, let's just go into this light purple right here. Yesterday I used ginger rail, but it kind of lost its way with all the purples. I just realized I'm wearing a purple shirt. We're gonna use this as a transition. But you saw the eye look I did yesterday. Oh, I love that thing. In that video I posted yesterday. We're just going to try to do better. But that video would have been 30 minutes. 30, 40 minutes. I'm trying to cut down on the amount of time I do in my videos. Alright. We're going to use this It Cosmetics brush. With chair. No. We're going to use it on um, whatever this darker purple shade is. Lavender. No, or Violet Vibes. I'm not sure which one it is. And we're going to pop that in the crease. See, that kind of flows better with that purple. I think. With that lavender color. It really does flow better. We all know this eye is the one that never wants to take any pigment. Okay, I'm going to do it with my eyes open now instead of closing them so I can build up the actual part where I want the crease. Where you can all see it. All right. Now... Yeah, let's go in with this, and it's in the color fairy tale ending. And we're only going to go halfway across. <laughs> we're kind of going to stop there. When it's halfway, let's see if we could get. <sighs> I guess because I did it yesterday, I'm not having to think about it as much. I know what I'm doing or what I'm wanting. Because I loved that look yesterday. Okay, we're going to let that dry for a second. I've used these two colors on the top. These two big long ones. Um, we're about to go into Cherry Cola right here. I believe that's what's... No, Cherry on top. After this dries. Oh, and I stuck my finger in that thing. The gold soda fizz. All right, I'm thirsty. I'm 
mostly because I'm trying not to let this video be too long, so I'm talking fast. Okay, we're gonna take a smudger brush. This is what I did yesterday. Where'd it go? You know what? We're gonna use this one at first until there we go. We got one. All right, we're gonna use an elf smudger brush and we're gonna go into cherry on top. And we're gonna pop that and deepen up the outer corner. Yeah, he's been singing and talking a lot more lately. I'm so excited. You hear him over there? We'll fix that in a minute. Um, okay, we're gonna take this blender brush right here. Let's take a little bit of this on to this. I'm going to fix that color right there. All right. Let's bounce it in. And I'll blend some shadow into it so it's not so harsh right there. We're going to take this blender. I just kind of want to diffuse it a little bit. Ugh. There's still a little bit of shadow on there. I don't want it to look. Okay. I haven't added shadow to this. This is basically just whatever was left on it. I'm trying to make it look right and match. All right. Let's go ahead and take this blender brush into the lavender color. The light purple. <laughs> to just kind of blend it in. There we go. Something looks better now. We're going to go back with this it cosmetics brush into the darker purple. We're going to lay that dark. Purple down into the crease above the cut crease. Basically, cut crease is basically what it is. Why does it look like? Okay, let's go back into this. And I noticed this yesterday when you add that cherry on top color to on top of this so that it kind of radiates it um changes the color a little bit so it helps with the radiate part and i'm probably messing this all up which is fine oh actually i think i might have done it oh let's go ahead and go back more into this purple <sighs> only till it gets right there now I'm doing something that I didn't do yesterday. I'm going to take some of this Soda Fizz color. It looks like that. I'm going to tap it on top of this to kind of build up the sparkle. Uh, just a little. Looks a little more glamorous than going to the doctor's appointment, but okay. Um, now we're going to go into this palette right here. We're going to take, oh, uh, there it is. We're going to take this um, greenish color 
greenish, um, looks like this. It's like a highlight shade right there. We're just gonna kinda stick that on the inner corner. Then we're gonna take the pinkish one next to it. And I didn't do my brows. I talked through it, didn't I? Oh, I went and answered the door. Okay, you know what? I wanna bring this down the nose. It's a, not a bad color. Maybelline does some great highlights. Let's go ahead and redo our Physician's Formula highlight on our face. If we can find a brush. Did I drop it? You know what? My fingers are clean. We're just gonna kinda buff, buff it in there. All right, I don't know where to brush it. And now I wanna take like a more defined brush. We'll just use this one because we're gonna smoke it. We're going to go in with this um, blue raspberry color down here, hopefully. We kind of got it smoked out on the bottom. I'm trying to hurry. I know this is going to be another long video. You know what? We're done. That's what we're going to do. Um, the lipstick color I'm going to use is probably going to be a more nude one. Yesterday, I used a red one, and I don't want to use that to go out with my mom and sister. So we are going to set it, and I will do the brows and finish getting ready off camera. I don't want to make this video too long. So I will talk to you all later. Bye.